What's going on, people of God? I'm here to share a video about the matters of astrology, how it even connects with your Bible and even your own life. Now, I know this topic of astrology is something that been talked about among the Christian church as something in a negative light. But I'm here to tell you about some scriptures and things even your Bible that supports astrology and hidden mysteries that we as the church, we need to come to know of that we have not known for so long. And those in dark is using it for evil purposes when God has made the stars and matters of astrology for light and for good purposes that we as the church should know now in your bible you see in genesis 1 14 to amplify how god made the stars the sun and the moon and how he was making this creation and how the sun moon and stars are for tokens they are for signs signs tell a message people of god and as you see this you're going to be seeing images that support the things i'm saying whether it's scriptures or certain uh pictures that i want to show to you but signs tell a message and we can see in psalms 86 17 tokens is for our favor so the stars is for our favor god speaks through tokens just like how god used the token of the rainbow as a promise to not flood the earth again god speaks through the stars anything god has made has a spiritual function and a meaning behind it the devil never created anything but he just wants to twist and pervert things the origin information the things the devil know have you ever thought about how the devil know the things he knew the devil was once lucifer as a being in light when he was this being light as lucifer he was under the systems of god and he saw and knew about certain or many things about the systems of god the ordinance of heaven this knowledge and information when he became a fallen being as the devil as satan he used the information he came to know of of heaven and the things of god for evil he used these things for the purposes of wickedness just like how the devil used the information about matters of the stars the spiritual meaning behind the stars he used this information in the zodiac for evil but that doesn't mean that the zodiac that orphan that origin information about the zodiac is evil what makes something evil is the use of it witches can use water or salt for evil but that doesn't mean that water or salt is evil when you cook you still going to use salt when you thirsty you still going to drink water you're not going to look at it as evil you're not going to say it's evil because people that's in dark uses water or salt for evil with that being said even the wise men in matthew 2 they decoded the birth of jesus and his destiny how jesus will be the king of the jews by looking into the stars the Bible never said that they got this revelation by prayer and dreams, but because they saw Jesus' star risen up in the east. See how the wise men, after the coding of stars, they worship Jesus. The stars and all of God's creation lead you to Jesus, to worship Jesus. We don't worship stars, but that doesn't mean the star don't have spiritual meanings behind it that connect to our lives. Even in the book of Jasher, and yes, your Bible mentions the book of Jasher, and you see this in Joshua 10, 13, and there's other scriptures that mentions the book of Jasher. So this book is legit. With that being said, in the book of Jasher, the wise men in these times decoded Abraham's star that risen up in the east and saw how Abraham and his descendants will inherit the land and multiply. This is another matter how the stars reveals one's destiny because this information God has packaged in the stars. Even your Bible compare us to the stars of heaven in Genesis 26, 4. We being the descendants of Abraham by the faith shows how there's a core correlation to the stars in us the bible makes this connection jesus said we are the light of the world stars are light bearers as we seen in genesis 1 14 to amplify it's something to think about how jesus said we are the light of the world and stars are light bearers but in the book of Job, you see something very interesting. In the book of Job, God was speaking to Job and saying, can you leave forth the Maseroth in their season? You see interpretations and meaning how Maseroth means constellation, or also there's interpretation meaning the Zodiac. That the Maz Maseroth in the Bible means the Zodiac. So when you put that in the scripture with that in meaning and interpretation, God is the one leading the Zodiac. God is the one leading the stars and the constellation. There's even ancient temples, Mosaic temples, 
which have the zodiac craven in the floors of the church and you see they have the torah ark the menorah and the shafar these craven images above it why would they have this in these ancient temples if the zodiac is evil there's other articles online who people who visited ancient Christian churches or temples and you and they saw how in these churches, these ancient temples, these decor in the church, these decorations that they have the zodiac in there as a part of the church decor. You even see these images online and on Google. Go Google these things. That you see in these church decor for ancient temples, they'll have these craven images of Jesus, and they'll have also the zodiac in these churches. Going further, there's 12 zodiac signs. Notice how Jesus chose 12 disciples. Jesus chose the 12 disciples by the zodiac and the stars. Each disciple represents and is a part of a zodiac house. Notice how there's 12 tribes of Israel. There's a connection between the 12 houses of the zodiac and the 12 tribes of Israel. Each tribe of Israel have their house they are connected to for the zodiac. Joseph dreamed of the 11 stars and seeing the sun and the moon in the book of Genesis actually was a revelation of the 12 tribe of Israel. But see how God used the star, sun and moon to reveal this to Joseph. Even in Revelation 12, we see that number 12 again. In the first verse, it discussed a woman clothed in the sun and beneath her was the moon and she had 12 stars on her crown for her head. Now with this short teaching, I never said to stop praying or to stop reading the word. We still need to read the word. I always encourage you to read the word of God, to study the word. We still need to pray. We worship Jesus Christ, but dreams, vision, and the word isn't the only way God speaks. God has packaged much information about our lives in the stars and speak through the stars so that we are not here on earth not knowing about our destiny and what we are supposed to do in luke 21 verse 25 even when jesus come back we are supposed to look and understand the signs in the sky and the stars jesus was speaking about this now if you want to understand more in depth about the things i said and more scriptures behind it watch the full teaching on my channel about spiritual astrology god bless you and shalom